It's Arbor Day in New York City, a behemoth burg filled with big buildings and even bigger egos. On this peaceful, normally forgotten spring holiday, a worm is making plans to strike at the very core of the Big Apple. <laughs> Happy Armor Day, everybody. A fishy worm known as... Happy Armor Day, Mr. Fish! Mr. Fish. Oh, there's nothing like the dulcet tone of a well-hypnotized metropolitan opera chorus. So much better live than the scratchy recordings I listen to behind bars. Poor little me, locked away in prison. Well, let me tell you something. Nobody keeps this sardine in the can. Take an email. Dear agent number one, I must say that I found our many e-rendezvous in the nuclear physicist enthusiast chat room stimulating, especially when we veered into basic correspondence. In an effort to take our relationship to a higher thermodynamic phase, I'm proposing a blind date on top of the World Trade Center. Tower number one. Tonight, 11.45, sharp. Signed, Valerie Holler. Send. Your mail has been sent. Excellent. New email. Dear agent number two, our torrent private e-dates at cyberboomplayenthusiast.com have produced a notable amount of heat, but I'm tired of punching keys. How about a blind date? Top of the World Trade Center, tower number two. Tonight, 11.30. Sharp. Signed, Valerie Hala. Send. Your mail has been sent. Perfect! The bait is on the hook. Come and get it, boys. I ask you, Rock, is there anything sweeter than sweet revenge? Oh, Rock. Do the big apple! I'm not just going to take a bite, darling. I'm going to eat the whole damn thing. And this time, no secret agent is going to stop me. <laughs> uh, who are you? I'm just a spy. Uh, You've ruined everything. Kill the secret agent. Who do you think I'm a spy? I know you're a spy. I'm agent number two. And I'm agent number one. We're spies. Spy Groove. File number Whiskey X-Ray 7, Tickle Buddha 5. Code name, Manhattan Glam Chowder. The Maxi Bar, a 24-hour international house of pretense, serving up well-chilled self-awareness to the ever-thirsty I pose, therefore I am crowd. Agent number one and agent number two are not at their usual table. Why? Never once to stand up a date, blind or otherwise, they have both gone to meet the mysterious Miss Valhalla, high atop the World Trade Towers. Hi. Hi. Valhalla? You're expecting someone else? Who else could it be? Who's to say? I don't know your life. Would you like to? Yes. Let me in. Let me in. I'll let you in if you let me in. Mm. But? But what? I have to see your face. You asked for it. You got it. Mr. Fish! Mr. Fish first appeared on the scene in the 1970s doing a comic hypnotism bit on the Sonny and Cher show. Though he poses as an over-elaborated, trend-chasing clubhound, he is armed with a highly effective, lethal talent for hypnosis and should be considered extremely dangerous. Surprise, lover boy! What have you done with Ms. Valhalla? Don't worry, you're still going to have one hell of a blind date, agent number one. I'm agent number two. Whatever! Cease him! Ugh. Always a fool for love. Do you remember the last time we met in the moonlight? I love the way the moon is hitting the web. I love the way the moon is hitting your eyes. I love the way you're hitting on me. Hiya! Okay, party's over. Where's Fish? I've got your back, lava boy. Do you like the way the moon is hitting my poison-tipped spear gun? Put some clothes on or pull the trigger. I beg you. Thanks for the memories. My pleasure. Do you realize how much therapy it took to forget that? Fool you want, shame on me. Fool you twice, shame on you. You're the shame, you scaly bastard. Ooh, it sounds like I hit a nerve. Shut up. Your weakness for women. What are you getting at? You never look before you leap, and oops, I always end up with the wrong one. Yeah, right. Think about it, agent number. I'm never quite sure who I'm dancing with. You're so hot. You're likely to pull me out of retirement from the world's oldest profession. <laughs> I, oh, oh, my 
God, you are so sassy. Uh, nothing against you, Tasha, but before I sign this... Uh... Ironclad prenuptial agreement that gives me full power of attorney over all your assets, past, present, and future? Yeah, shouldn't I talk to a lawyer? No one matters but us now. Wait, no, 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 no. Oh, women can't live with them. Can't tell when they're robots. Well, you needn't worry about your plans with Miss Valhalla, because I've planned a date for you and a very special woman. A real woman? Oh, yes. It's going to be an explosive evening. Oh, really? Oh, yes. You'll be all over the city. What if I don't want to go on your little date? Oh, you'll go. You're not the boss of me. No, but I am the boss of you. I am the boss of you. You are the boss of me. You are the boss of me. What the? Congratulations, agent number two. I'm agent number one. Whatever. What have you done with my date, fish? The only date you'll be having will be a date with destiny. What are you talking about, you frigging fish freak? Shut your trap. Agent number whatever the hell your number is, just tell me what you've done with Miss Valhalla. Did her emails get your little analytical brain all hot and bothered? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. It was you. Oh. All those late nights, you and me, theoretically smashing our particles together in the singles chat room of the nuclear physicist enthusiast website. Your ass is mine, fish. Aren't we hot to trot? All right, you listen to me. No, you listen to me. Go ahead. All right. All right, go for it. I will. Okay. 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 Shush. Behind the bars of the luxurious penal housing you and your partner so thoughtfully arranged for me, I've been patiently planning something especially for you. I'm honored. You should be. You deserve it. What is it? A little game. A little game? <laughs> a little game that only I can win. A little game that only I can stop. But how can you possibly stop me when I'm way over here and you're all the way over there? Just watch me. Agent number one pulls out his handheld global espionage traveler's aid with real-time person-to-person contact. Hi, who's this? Agent number one. Hey, we missed you at the Baldwin family barbecue. I'm sorry. We were thwarting a gang of manic depressive chefs who were planning to smuggle black market poison gourmet truffles across international borders. Oh, I know so many chefs who suffer from a bipolar disorder. What will it be? I need a blue plate special top of the World Trade Center. Coming right up. Agent number one uses his handheld global espionage traveler's aid to activate a satellite deployed precision targeting laser saw. Right on target. Thank you for contacting me. Well, if it isn't Nadja Coleman each scoring a perfect 10 on the battle speed. Uh, I don't think you even want to go there. It's always fun to see what sort of cheap trick you have up your sleeve. This wasn't exactly cheap. Neither was my helicopter, which you so conveniently ruined in Miami. Fish is getting away. Bye-bye, super agents. <laughs> oh. Mission accomplished. One rotten fish on ice. My day was going so well. Do you have any idea how embarrassing it is to finish the night at your own party, passed out and belly up, on top of a crust ice sculpture of yourself? That does sound pretty embarrassing. And I was in Miami of all places. I'll see what I can do to make this experience just as memorable. Not so fast, agent number two. I'm agent number one. Agent number one. Did that fall in Miami damage your brain? If so, whose fault would that be? Hmm? So sue me. Maybe later. Right now, it's time to play. Whose ass shall I shave? Pardon me? Whose ass shall I save? His or hers? After I light the fuses on these rockets, you will only have time to save one ass. Whose ass will it be? His ass. Or, or, well, I'll let you guess whose ass is in the hearth rocket. <laughs> I love it. Agent number two is trapped inside a rocket while agent number one tries to figure out what beautiful woman from his past the evil Mr. Fish has placed inside the other damn rocket. Confused? Well, maybe we shouldn't have so many girlfriends. Who could it be? I must admit, this is only arousing. God, this is good. This is very good. Mmm. Agent number one. Tracy. Mmm. Wanna lay? Mmm. Aloha. Mmm. How about a spin? Goodbye. Mmm. Mm. Hmm. 
could be anybody. Why are you doing this? I'm surprised you haven't figured it out, Agent Number Smarty Pants. It would have been so easy to just kill you. Why didn't you? Why don't I rob banks, steal cars, knock out old ladies and take their social security checks? <laughs> I'm not that kind of criminal. Besides, this will force you to consider all three of your options. Three? Yes. Him, her, or me. You. Yes, me. Okay, you lost me with that third option. Think about it! All we have to do is launch these rockets, and you can say goodbye to your goofy, good guy path with Agent Number Stupid, and hello to a beautiful, bad boy future with me as your new partner. Not in your wildest dreams, Fish. Maybe not in your wildest dreams. The answer is no. All right, then. Suit yourself and your angry god. It's game time. You have exactly as long as he steals his last to make your decision. Save your partner's ass and the mystery woman dies. Save the mystery woman's ass and your partner dies. Either way, I win. On your mark, get set. Wait, give me a chance to say goodbye to my partner. Does that mean you're going to save her? I didn't say that. Well, make it quick. When I snap my fingers, you will wake from your trance. What the... Mom? Goodbye! What's going on? Mr. Fish hypnotized you and sealed you inside an explosive rocket. Oh. You may die. Oh. But only if I choose to save the mystery woman over you. Oh, you're gonna choose me, right? Well, I don't know yet. What do you mean you don't know yet? Why is it that I'm always having to save your ass? Hey, I've saved your ass plenty of times. Really? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> They're trying to kill us. <laughs> With what? <laughs> well, we guess. <laughs> uh, we gotta get out of here or we'll all die. <laughs> we don't get out of here. We'll die laughing. <laughs> get us out of here. <laughs> and this was supposed to be ah! my comeback. Give me a hand, smart guy. Hang on. Quickly, open their butts. Uh, I'm not entirely comfortable doing this. Uh. All right, I guess I owe you one. Oh, I adore going over old times with old nemesis. But we have to get on with it. Wait, wait. What? Uh, well. Uh, I mean, come on. Yeah, come on. Hot. I'm gonna die if you light that fuse, man. If he picks you first, you might live. Uh, well, that's just not good enough for me. Mm, I don't really care. Can't you see? He wants to hear your plan before he goes. Oh, please. He wants to hear your incredible plan. Yeah, Fish, I gotta hear it. Yeah, he's gotta hear it. Before I die, It's man. a dying man's wish. Don't be silly. You think I'm gonna fall for that old trick? I don't think you can resist it. Hot man. All right, listen up, you duplicitous ego massaging agents. Behold. How do you like my new New York? You mean your fantasy island? No, it's no fantasy. It will soon be a reality. All I need is a small-scale revolt to set my sweet ass on the throne of New York. Stop the visuals. You're damaging me. So you're planning a coup? The coup, coup, coup de cité. Keep the Sinatra out of this. Tonight, at the stroke of midnight, New York City will be treated to a brilliant three-act operatic masterpiece. Oh, and me without my opera glasses. Act one, a spectacular citywide blackout. How'd you manage that? Simple. After I made my dynamic escape for the pitiful penitentiary for the perennially drab. Yeah, I wish I could have seen that. Oh, it was just an old trick I used for my Sonny and Cher days. I turned the guards into drooling babies. No, I really wish I'd seen that. Oh, it's brilliant. They lost all control of their bodily functions. All right. Anyway, after my escape, I made two stops. My first was a Metropolitan Opera House, where I picked up this lovely Wagnerian opera set and matching chorus. My second stop was Consolidated Edison. Con Ed. The power company. I found the staff there very agreeable to my suggestion. Post-hypnotic suggestion. <laughs> Is there any other kind? Well, uh, you know, there's, uh... Anyway! At the stroke of midnight, Con Ed will black out the city, setting the stage for Act Two, a beautiful display of Arbor Day fireworks. Arbor Day fireworks? Well, that is original. <laughs> That's what I'm counting on. When the unsuspecting citizens of New York look up in surprise at my unexpected ring of mesmeric fireworks, they will all be unexplainably hypnotized, making them susceptible to my post-hypnotic suggestion. And tonight's suggestion? Riots! While the city is engaged in an orgy of violence, you know, looting, pillaging, double parking, dethroning the mayor, I shall set off a barrage of rockets ingeniously camouflaged amidst the fireworks. These rockets will destroy New Jersey, Brooklyn, Queens, the, the Bronx, Bronx etc.
And of course, as a bonus, all bridges, tunnels, and surrounding areas will be decimated, making it impossible to get on or off the island of Manhattan without a yacht, a private helicopter, or a personal submarine. Thus creating a velvet rope community. Don't you just love it? Love is a bit strong. But we get the idea. Someone's been a busy bee since he got out of prison yesterday. Oh, please, I subcontracted. Subcontracted? Yes. Meet my landscaper, urban visionary, international playboy, and psychotic mercenary geologist slash bomb guy. Rock! Debris! Rock! Again? Bad guys pay well. Not in the long run, Rock. He's right. No amount of money is worth helping this fish freak recreate Manhattan in his own image. Oh, I almost forgot. The Maraschino Cherry on my hot fun Sunday. Not that. The statue of fishery. Give me your wealthy or powerful, your global ambassadors of style, and I shall give you the most exclusive real estate in the solar system. Thank you, God. You'll never get away with it, you psycho, twisted villain. Villain, ha! Huh. Once this opera is through, I shall be considered a hero. Which brings us to... Act three. The finale and the introduction of my HSPBS. HSPBS. Yes, my holographic sky projection broadcast system. Holographic sky projection broadcast system? Yes, my holographic sky projection broadcast system. Once the mayor has been dethroned, I will personally sue the savage beasts of Manhattan. How are you going to do that? Sing them a lullaby? Exactly. My revolutionary new holographic sky projection broadcast system will fill the skies with my own spectacular new kind of opera. It's so hip. It's hypnotic. Sounds entrancing. On a mass scale. So, you turn off the lights. Hypnotize the audience. And before they know it, they're giving you a standing ovation. Bravo for me, the new ruler of the celebrity capital of the universe. Impressive plan. Uh, I'd give it a nine, actually. Seven and a half. Oh, like you've heard better. Mm. It's definitely up there. Let's just see how far up there it is. It's your call, agent number one. As Mr. Fish prepares to play the role of tyrannical king of Manhattan, agent number one is forced to play God, deciding who will live and who will die. Wait a minute, what? What if? What if what? The other rocket. What if? It's Helena Troy. She puts the ah in espionage. Two words, badass. She's so far out of your league, you back up when she bunts. Tougher than a poodle raised in a junkyard full of pit bulls. She's their boss. She's a brick house. She's mighty mighty. Are you kidding? You couldn't fit all that attitude into that rocket. Well, you got that right. It's not, Helena Troy. <laughs> Took you long enough. How interesting. Why didn't you save her? Because there is no her. You said you made two stops after you broke out of prison. Con Ed and the Opera House. You didn't have time to kidnap anyone. So there, you spineless jellyfish. You think you're the only people who can't resist an email blind date? Take a look at this. Hey, boy. It's Mac. She's a genie in a bottle rocket. Can you hurry? I'm late for my shift. Mac. The agent's straight shooting cocktail slinger. Is that a 44 caliber laser targeting semi automatic in your pocket? Or are you just happy to see me? My best behavior is when I'm misbehaving. Your pants are ringing. What's on your mind, Dreamboat? You know what they say. What? The hindsight is 2020. You bastard! You got Mac, and Mac's got a very short fuse. Still have time. Let's do it. Mr. Fish, citywide blackout in three, two, one. And now, just to make my climax that much more thrilling, attention, all members of the Metropolitan Opera Chorus. You will kill agent number one and agent number two. Kill agent number one and agent number two. We will kill agent number one. I'll save Mac. I'll take care of the killer chorus. Agent number one interrupts the killer chorus's hypnotic rampage with his handy pocket conductor's baton. People! People! Thank you. There's been a change in program. And his surprising knowledge of classical music. We'll be taking Handel's Hallelujah Chorus from the bridge. And a five, six, a five, six, seven, eight. While agent number one conducts the chorus, agent number two grabs a convenient prop from the nearest spear carrier. Thanks. <laughs> it's over, fish. Not quite. Using a convenient emergency generator system, rock debris lights up fish for a fatal finale. You think you're so smart, you little do-gooders. Well, I still have a microphone, a holographic sky projection broadcast system, and a dream. And I'll be damned if you boys are going to stop me from making my pip 
Hip-Hopera, the fad of the new millennium. Hip-Hopera? It's worse than we thought. Hit me, rock! My dance with no re gun feel gun feel re gun feel My dance with no re gun feel Snapped out of their hypnotic state by Mr. Fish's horrifying lack of musical technique, the outraged chorus launches an aggressive retaliation. Everyone's a damn critic. Oh, mother. Good work, boys. It's Helena Troy, a woman who knows just how and when to drop her fishnets. Looks like we caught ourselves a fish out of water. And all I ever wanted to do was sing. I'll meet you at the maxi bar. Drinks are on me. Yeah! Right. So I guess you owe me one. Owe you one what? Well, I saved your ass tonight in a major way. Oh, yeah, I one see. saved of the countless times I saved your ass. I figure oh, you're still in debt. So you're running a tab now? Well, no more than you are. Oh, this is ridiculous. I just don't want you to forget about, you know, all the countless times I've saved your ass. I may not save your ass from imminent physical danger, but on a bigger scale, I save you indirectly, and I save your ass plenty of times from moral decay. Uh-huh. Oh, indirectly... And from moral decay? Yeah, moral decay. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you're like my guardian angel? Well, you something? almost married a robot. Who saved you from that? Oh, you two just lost. What do you mean, who saved you from I that? I saved you from marrying a robot. Who, didn't I? You woke up to that fact, right? Oh, please. How about the time you were stuck standing only... at the top of a pyramid? Standing at the top of a pyramid, suddenly struck by vertigo. You know, I was there to say, hey, don't think about it. I've certainly saved you from moral depravity. No, you haven't. Oh, definitely. Name I one have. time. Name one time. Well, I saved you, you from... You could give a damn about my moral depravity. No, I totally saved you from marrying a villain twice. Oh, you two just lost. Y'all just lost. I need a damn drink. Dying Schweiss.